Uh, this demonstration will show examples of different um, reports that can be generated using Tektite 4.0 Blordor software. Um, so we're going to go up to File on the upper left here, File, and we're going to retrieve an existing test and take a look at the reports we can generate from that. And the first one we'll look at is just a basic test that we entered the minimal amount of information to generate a, a ASHRAE 62.2 um, design and for the project number we simply entered in um, a project number we entered the floor area um, building height bedrooms occupants um, we brought in the uh, um, characteristics and, and heating information from a, a configuration file um, we entered in the uh, the measured kitchen and bath fan flows uh, and mark that we had operable windows in the kitchen and bath. And, um, and we did a manual test using Teptite. It generated one point, uh, one data point, and then um, did the calculation for the recommended ventilation guidelines for ASHRAE 62.2. Um, now, now we're going to take a look at the reports that are generated by Teptite from this information. Um, so we'll go up to File again on the upper left here, the first pull-down menu, and choose Preview Report. And we have an option of either a customer report, a detailed report, or a graph. These other ones are, are grayed out because they're not applicable to the information we entered in there. So let's first look at the customer report. And we click on it two times, and it'll zoom in on it a little bit. And um, because we, we didn't use a, a configuration file, it didn't bring in our, our company logo up here or our uh, company information. We didn't enter the customer information, so that does not show up. Only the project number shows up. And then it shows the measured leakage, um, 108 square inches or 1962 CFM at 50 pascals. And then it also shows the... Uh, um, the cost per year for heating and cooling, and then the, the um, rate of ventilation that should be provided for this house. So, so pretty basic, uh, pretty basic information. Um, and then this additional information is just default information that talks about what the tests were that were performed. So that's it. Pretty basic, pretty straightforward report. Then I'm going to click close here and we'll close the report. If we want to print this report, um, we can do it from the screen or we can do it from, from our other screen. Um, and, uh, and it'll give us an option to choose the printer and, uh, and we can print the report off that way. Um, another option is we can print the report to a PDF file. If you want to mail a PDF file to your client or customer, um, then, then we can print that, and, and then it gives us an option of printing the customer report or the detailed report or the graph. You can print that to a PDF, and, and um, let's show how to do that. So we looked at the customer report. It's a simple one-page report, um, and we can, uh, um, we can save that. Now it's generating a, a PDF file, and um, uh, it's as simple as that. Um, the next um, one, we'll still look at this basic uh, file we pulled open, and we'll look at a detailed report. If we want a report with a little additional information, um, we can look at a detailed report. And now it, it brings in um, the CFM50 again, and it'll... It, because we have the square footage entered in, it'll it'll calculate a CFM per square foot of floor area, and then it's got leakage areas, it's got the building leakage curve coefficient and exponent, and uh, and the test settings we had. So it's giving us some additional information. Um, some of these things like uh, infiltration estimates, annual estimated annual infiltration rate. Um, this is based on, on ASHRAE standards to convert uh, CFM at 50 to CFM natural. And, um, and the help menu explains a little bit about 
about this information, but I wouldn't get hung up too much on, on these estimates um, of annual infiltration. And then it'll do a, a cost estimates for, for heating and cooling. Um, and, and this is um, um, one thing to keep in mind, we're in Minneapolis, we're not in a cooling climate, so our annual cooling costs uh, due to air infiltration, this is the air infiltration part of it, $184 a year for heating, $6 per year for cooling is the total uh, for that 2000 CFM at 50. Um, if we reduce that 2000 uh, CFM at 50 by a third, by a third, then uh, we'd save we'd save about sixty dollars a third of this number or two dollars for cooling we don't have much cooling costs up here two dollars for cooling and keep in mind that these cooling calculations don't take into consideration latent load the the load that's required to um, remove moisture from the air so if you're in a humid climate um, you're going to notice that that it really underestimates your cost um, your cost of cooling so these are are you know um, our estimates using standard practice and um, and you know they're I wouldn't uh, consider them to be super accurate they're just ballpark ballpark numbers uh, and then our ventilation numbers are included in that too so the detail report has a little bit more information um, it does have a next page here uh, and the next page does include all, everything you entered in so all the, the um, data that was entered in is going to show up um, on the next page. Um, and then it shows your indoor and outdoor temperature you entered in, your one data point. Um, because we, we chose CSGB for our standard, and this standard CSGB test is eight points, and we only entered in one, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show a deviation from the standard, and it's saying we only entered, we didn't collect all data required, a recommended uh, um, target data pressures. So let's close that down. So that's a basic, a basic test and what the reports would look like. And uh, next we'll go to, um, I'll pull up, retrieve a different test that's got some more detailed uh, information in it. Um, so in this one we entered in all the customer information. Um, volume, floor area, and surface area. All the information from this page again, same as we did before. Um, the comments page, you can enter in unlimited text. It doesn't allow for pictures or graphs or anything like that, but, but you can enter as much text as you want. And, and this really gives you the ability to customize your report based on what information you want to have included. So you can type a bunch of generic default language into this area and, and save it in your configuration file and then fill in the information in the field. So just to give you some examples, um, this information was taken from a form um, for um, Home Performance with Energy Star program. Um, so um, you could this is the information on air sealing. You could put a lot more language in here um, explaining uh, a little bit more about that. Um, but you could put in your installation uh, levels and area and, and proposed levels. Um, and then it's got information about heating systems, air conditioning systems, um, setback thermostats, um, you know, your water heating equipment. Uh, your your safety test and how you how you performed your safety tests, um, carbon monoxide information, um, exhaust fan details on exhaust fan information, utility billing data. So you could you could put any number of things in this comments area and uh, and customize your report that way. And and uh, being able to do it all in Tektite along with all the data that was gathered. Um, during the Tektite test is pretty slick. So this was an automated test we did, a CSGB 8-point automated test, um, hooking a computer up to the gauge in the field and doing the test. Um, it's showing the graph of our 8 points, and you can see it's a, it's a pretty calm day. All our points are 
fitting neatly in, in a line like they should. Our correlation coefficient is real good. We want to see that above 0.99, and it's certainly above that. Um, our leakage areas. And because we entered in um, volume, it'll give us air changes per hour. Um, because we entered in square foot, it'll give us CFM per square foot of floor area. Because we entered in surface area, it'll give us CFM per square foot of surface area. And then it does the, um, uses the uh, um, ASHRAE standards to convert um, CFM at 50 to natural, estimated annual infiltration rates um, in, in air changes per hour and in, in CFM. Uh, and it'll do winter and summer. Uh, and our estimated um, costs, uh, total cost of air leakage for, based on that, um, 2,400 CFM and our ventilation rate. Um, we also did zonal pressures in this test, so it'll show a graph of the zonal pressures that we did. And we did um, we did the garage and the attic. The garage numbers are red, the attic numbers are are uh, um, green. And, and what what really is nice about about doing this is it not only gives you your zonal numbers um, um, zoned outside and uh, and building to zone. Um, but it but it calculates the repeatability of that test. So if we look at our zoned outside number, um, which is really what I consider the important one, we're at, we're at 3.10 plus or minus 0 0.7. Um, and with our attic number, we're 1.1 pascals. Uh, and these are baseline adjusted numbers, which is important also um, to get to get accurate numbers. So it's 1.18 plus or minus 0.83. So, so even on a calm day, if, if we have small zoned outside numbers, um, our, our level of accuracy, repeatability of this test is not real good. Um, it still give you, gives you an idea that it's you know, somewhere between um, 0.5 and, and 2, uh, which is useful information to have. But um, that's one nice thing about Tektite is it, is it gives you an idea and both the precision, the correlation coefficient, gives you an idea how precise, how well all those numbers fit on the line. And then the repeatability. If you do this test again, you're likely to be plus or minus 0.2% of that number. So uh, valuable information to have. And then deviations from the standard with this test were none. So let's look at our, our uh, detailed report for, um, for this. Um, this is the customer report. This is our our, simp our simplified customer report. Um, so if all you want to um, give the homeowner is the uh, the CFM 50, um, air change is natural, um, um, cost per year for energy savings, um, then you, then you can give them the customer report, the simple um, um, customer report. Um, and if you want to. Uh, If you want to show them the detailed report, pull up the detailed report, and then we've got, uh, I forgot to pull a logo in here, but um, it, it did have a, you could put your company logo along with your company name, uh, customer name, uh, information about the date and technician, um, and um, so we get CFM at 50, leakage areas, building leakage curves, so we've got a lot more detailed information, infiltration rates cost estimates, mechanical ventilation, um, and then all of the data that we entered in will show up. And all of our, our uh, nominal building pressure, baseline adjusted pressure, fan pressure, flow, um, air, uh, which ring we had on, uh, temperatures, deviations from standard will all show up um, on this page. Plus our, our uh, the comment section um, will bring all of that additional information. So any additional information um, that we wanted to bring in um, would all show up. So we've got a number of uh, additional pages in this report. We've got a seven page report um, of which uh, um, uh, four of those pages were, were the customized sections. So, so we can get a lot of uh, 
a lot of information um, out of that report. And then we can also um, we can also look at if you wanna if you wanna include the graphs, you know, you can uh, you can you can uh, print off the graph if you want to uh, um, include the zone data graph and, and that information. Um, you can include that also. Um, now, if you want to um, print the report as a PDF file, um, you can do that. So you go to print report to PDF and, um, and go to, we'll go to detailed report and uh, we'll go to name. And now it'll generate that report. So that's, um, that's a pretty slick feature because then you can uh, you can open that report and um, uh, that's in PDF form so you can email it um, to your client. Um, so that gives you an idea of, of what the tech type reports will look like and, and how to customize a little bit for, for what you need and, and um, so you can give the your, your client uh, information and, and optimize being able to pull that tech tight and that um, um, air changes per hour and and uh, the ASHRAE ray ventilation design and pull that all that information that's automatically generated in, in tech tight into a nice report.